I'm sitting here with Amira, who was just evicted seven to four. She was blindsided. When you were leaving the house, you whispered something to Jasmine. What did oh. you say? I just told her to grab all my shoes because I left like, <laughs> I left a few pairs of heels in the house that were like in the back corner that I was meant to go back and grab and I was like, oh, I'll just leave them. And so. You also thought you were not really leaving. I wasn't 100%. That's why I'm still in my regular clothes too because we were told to wear our athletic gear and I was like, not 100% that I'm going to be participating in this next comp. So I was like, I'm just going to dress normal. Okay. And, but I was, I was, obviously I was really hoping and praying that I was staying. Okay. Now, for the past three weeks, you were one of many people who was pushing to get Taylor out of the house. Why did you see Taylor as such a threat? I didn't trust her from the very beginning. So she has a few different sides to her. And like, I felt like we got to know more of the real her in the beginning. She was very standoffish. She says a lot of snarky things under her breath about people. And so I could, when I'm standing beside her, I would hear her saying things sometimes. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And then she never spoke to me and she never spoke to a lot of the girls that I was close with. And so from the very beginning, I always thought that she was working with someone else. And so I was happy to get her evicted. Okay. You were witness to a very heated attack by Daniel towards Taylor in the bathroom. Do you think that was fair? No, I do not think that was fair. Um, I didn't like how he approached the situation. I thought that he should have handled that privately um, between the two of them. I also think that he threw a lot of things at her that were just assumptions. And so I didn't appreciate it. And um, I did speak to Taylor afterwards about it to make sure that she wasn't super hurt over it because I thought that it was it was bad. And she brought up, he brought up Paloma as well. And I just felt like some of it was unnecessary. We also saw you uh, stick up for Taylor to other house guests. You were one of the people who did defend her to Daniel. What made you do that? You kind of stuck your neck out for her. Yeah, it wasn't even about the game at this point. It was more so just a personal thing that I don't want to feel like we we're bullying anybody. And I didn't like that at all. And so sometimes you have to, maybe I did it wrong, but I had to put the game aside for a moment and just let him know how I felt and that I didn't think that that was fair. And how do you think he took it? I think he took it well, um, considering um, he, Still, I don't think he changed his mind about the situation. He still felt about his way, but I noticed that he wasn't aggressive towards her in any kind of manner moving forward. Sitting here now with me, is there anything you would have done differently? I think that I wouldn't have tried so hard in the comps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that didn't help you when you came so close to winning yes. against Turner. Yeah, so didn't I help. kept coming close to winning, but not actually winning. And so it was like, what was the point if I'm not even winning the comp? Who do you think is playing the best game right now? Um, I think that Michael, he's a great competitor and people are going to be afraid to evict him. They'll have to backdoor him. And I don't know. I think I'm going to go with Michael is the best. Maybe Monty because he has a lot of people that like him, but people also view him as a big threat right now. So how come? Because just looking at him, he is a threat, a physical threat. Yeah. And then plus, he True. does not share a lot of information about himself. And people have noticed that. He's very secretive, doesn't share a lot of things. So people don't really know who he is or what he does. Who do you want to remain friends with after this is all over? Jasmine, Alyssa, Nicole. Definitely those three. Hopefully everyone, we all remain cordial, but definitely those three I can see myself being friends with for a long time. Well, we have your remaining goodbye messages from the housemates oh, you didn't hear from on the show. Shall we? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Amira, I, I was all in on the girls' girls, but then you guys ghosted me. You made me feel so excluded. That's precisely why you're going this week, and it really is a shame because I was all in on you. I don't believe your loss. Amira, I really wanted to keep you here, but I am aware of an alliance that you're in that I'm not involved with. I love you so much, and I cannot wait to hang out outside of this house. Amira, if you are seeing this message, then something went really wrong, and it is proof that there is an all-guys alliance, so I am going to fight in this house and evict every single one of them and win this game for me and you. I cannot wait to hang out and travel when we get out of this house. Amira, I am so sad to see you leave this week, but honestly, I was a part of it. You've been playing this game so well. You've become such a huge threat, and honestly, I'm not sure where your loyalty lies as you're aligned with basically everyone in the house. I think you're an so incredible you. player, and I'm really sad to see you leave the game so early. 
Amira, the strong, the beautiful, powerful woman that you are, you're a force to be reckoned with. We decided that we couldn't trust you and that we had to vote you out this week. Sorry that we had to see you go, but we're looking forward to seeing you outside of this house. Amira, my love, I hope you'll never get to see this message, but if you do, I hope you're having so much fun outside and I hope to see you soon. That's it. Beijo, love you. Amir, I don't know what happened, but don't worry. Whoever was gunning for you, <laughs> I'll be coming for them and I will take them out. Amira, wow. If you're seeing this, I don't know how I pulled it off. You steal my savage. We better go have them crabs in Maryland, like you said. I love you. Peace. Amira, I want you to know that every laugh, cry, and moment we shared was real. It's so unfortunate that our game didn't align together. I know you said a guy like me is your type, so hopefully once I win this for us, we can meet up outside of here. That's hilarious. What do you mean <laughs> that's hilarious? What do you think of what he just said? I mean, me and Joseph are cool. We're fine. Potential for dating outside the house? I don't know about that. We were just friends, but he's funny. I'll just expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> Amira, thank you so much. Thank you, Julie. It was lovely meeting you again. Same here. It's fun watching you. Thank you. 